Now, how to choose a right fit for your hiking shoe? First thing, make sure you're visiting the store in the afternoon, not in the morning. Because in the afternoon, your feet will be in its maximum size. And try to wear only those socks which you are going to use along with the hiking shoe. And once you have the shoes, there are only three checkpoints that you need to see. First thing, your toes shouldn't hit the front part of the shoe. And there shouldn't be any irritation on top of your foot. And finally, when you're walking, your heel shouldn't lift even quarter inch. Just make sure that none of these things is happening. You walk around the store, there are lots of experience zones. Make sure you're tapping your foot and checking that none of these things is happening. And that's like a proper fit. So the first problem is the irritation on top of your foot. So when you start hiking for a longer duration, your feet swells up a bit. And that ultimately creates irritation or pain on top of your foot. Now how to solve this thing? We follow a lacing technique called uh, window lacing. So how it does, so instead of going with the classic crisscross method, you pass it way too straight. And what it actually does, it creates a little bit of uh, space over here, creates a little room for your feet to breathe. And once it is done, you use another lacing technique, which is called as double overhand or such as not. What you do, you place your laces one on top of each other, you bring it inside, you bring it inside again. And what it does, this allows you to create two different tensions. Because you want it to be a little smoother over here, a little loose, and you want it to be super tight on the top. So whenever you want to do two different tensions, you go with your sergeant's knot. I'll just show you. So no matter how strong you pull, so the laces underneath this sergeant's knot, it remains unchanged. So you can use this sergeant's knot whenever you want to differentiate, whenever you want two different tensions. Yeah. So the next problem is developing blisters in your heels or a problem in your toes when you're going downhill because it just starts banging into the front part of the shoe most of the time. Now, how can we prevent this thing? So there is a lacing technique called lock lace. You follow with your classic method of going with the lacing till this point. And then instead of using one hook, you go through two hooks. You use them both, crisscross them, and sew it underneath the loop that we have created. Just make it, make sure it's going underneath that. Same thing on the other side. Now, when you're tightening it, don't pull it behind, pull it towards your toes. So you can see the difference when I'm pulling it forward, it just tightens the entire ankle over here. You can see the difference that happened. And once that is done, and then you go with your normal way, tighten it, and it is done. And this should stop your heel from lifting or your toes from banging to the front part of the shoe. Now, after you make sure that your heel is not lifting and there is no irritation on top of your foot, the final thing that you need to check that the toes are not touching the front part of the shoe. Now this can happen mainly when you're traveling downhill. So how can you do it? Either you find a platform, try and check that, or if the, there is no such platform, you just try to tap your foot three times at least. And ultimately you just have to make sure that your toes are not touching the front part of the shoe. Now once you have all of these three checkpoints, you're good to go. That's a perfect fit for you. So once you pick up the shoe, once you walk around the store and ensure that your heel is not lifting, there will be experience zones like this which can help you stimulate downhill walking. You can just go through them and this can help you in ensuring that your toe is not touching the front part of the shoe. You can just go as slow as you can and then this can help you in ensuring that your toes are not touching the front part of the shoe. And that's it. There you have your perfect fit.